So now that Watson's gone 11 games and Mayfield's gone for good, who's going to play the position? You got Jacoby Brissett. He's serviceable, though, Brian. Like, this team is... I'll repeat my question. Who's going to play the position? We know that the Cleveland Browns' strength of their team is their rushing attack with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. You got a receiver mm -hmm. in Amari Cooper, who's the number one. You got Donovan Peoples-Jones yep. and Joko at tight end. Defensively, they're loaded, Brian. I mean, you got Miles Garrett, one of the best defensive players in the NFL. You got Jadavion Clowney as well. Have. You know, a great pass rusher. And then on the back end, mm -hmm. in their secondary, they probably got one of the best secondaries in the NFL, John Johnson at safety. And then you got Grant Delpit at safety as well. Denzel Ward, he's a nice cornerback in the NFL. And you got Greg. Oh, I'll give Newsom. him a ceiling of five and six. Okay, I got him four and seven. Because at Carolina, I think they can beat Baker Mayfield and the Carolina Panthers. And then they that got ain't happening. Baker Mayfield's going to be too charged up. Stop it, Brian. He's a game manager at best. They could beat Baker Mayfield and the Panthers in week one. Okay. They're and then, not going to beat them in Carolina. Carolina's going to have a surprise for them. Home against do the I Jets. Expect Carolina, do I expect Carolina to make the playoffs? No. Right. right. But they're going to name Baker Mayfield the starter in Carolina. And honestly, who the hell is surprised? They brought him in for that reason. Sam Darnold wasn't even serviceable because he couldn't stay on the field. So Baker Mayfield's going to be hyped to face his old team in his new home. It's like Sam Donald against the Jets, although we're talking about a different species of animal in the New York Jets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but be that as it may, I'll give him a ceiling of five and six and a floor of all an 11. I, I don't see, unless Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt both carry the ball 25 times in a game and Jacoby Brissett doesn't throw the ball more than 10, forget it. I agree. Initially, when he was suspended six games, these are their first six games. They're at Carolina, home against the Jets, mm -hmm. home against the Steelers, at Falcons, home against the Chargers, home against the Patriots. I said, even without Deshaun Watson, I said in those six games, Brian, they could go four and two because wrong. Brian, even if they want to say they lose to Carolina, they're going to beat the Jets in week two. The Steelers, no, they're not. What? They're going to beat the Jets. The Jets are awful. Stop it. Yeah. The Jets and Browns are even. <laughs> Stop I knew you get a kick out of Stop that. Stop it. I knew you get a kick out of that. Still is week three. It's like the Brooklyn mess and anybody else they play. They're even at best. <laughs> Still is week three. Could they beat the Steelers? May I speak honestly? Hell no. <laughs> That's a winnable game. Is it in Cleveland or in Pittsburgh? It's in Cleveland. That's a tie. Yeah. I agree. I like that Steelers defense, Brian. Mm -hmm. I like their defense. It's, it's going to be a battle of defenses, and whoever scores at least 21 points will win that game. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And I I love Mike Tomlin. I think Mike Tomlin is one of the best coaches in the NFL. I love Tomlin. Love Tomlin. I love Tomlin. Love Tomlin. So that, that's – and then, okay, they, at Falcons week four, Falcons are rebuilding. They'll beat the Falcons. Oh, dear God. Yeah, they'll beat That's the another tie. Stop it. I'm, I'm picking the Browns in week four to beat the Falcons. They will beat them. Week five Chargers. That'll be a tie, 14 all. For, <laughs> week five Chargers, they'll lose to the Chargers. That, we ain't even going to talk about that one. They're not going to lose to the Chargers. They're going to get blown to smithereens yeah, by the Chargers. I agree. Then I we, mean, Justin Herbert will throw four touchdowns blindfolded in that game. Yeah, for sure. Is it in Cleveland or in San Diego? And yes, I purposely said San Diego. It is in Cleveland. It's a home game for the Browns. Week five. Oh, God. <laughs> Chargers 58, Browns nothing. Week six, Patriots. They can beat the Patriots in Cleveland. I don't believe in Mac Jones. Do you? Are you out of your rat picking mind? Mac Jones is terrible. You believe in Mac Jones? For that particular game and that particular game only, I believe in the Patriots. The narrative is set up where Deshaun Watson gets to come back and face, oh, looky, his old team in the Houston Texans in week 13. Yeah. I hope that ends in a scoreless tie. <laughs> I thought that was odd. Did you think that was kind of odd how the NFL, they suspended him 11 games and you bring him back and in week 13? week 12 is a bye. Well, no, they got to buy week. They got to buy week nine. And week 12, oh, they played a bye. Yeah, week nine, they got the bye. And then week 13 is when they play Houston in Houston. Don't you think that's kind of odd? Like, I thought somebody in the NFL or the NFL PA would have saw, like, okay, they play the Texans week 13, like all the scrutiny that's going to be aimed in the direction of Deshaun Watson. My buddy Robert Cobb said it best. I playfully disagreed with him, but I, I agree with him on this point. It's going to be a ratings buster, but everybody's going to watch the game for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, I agree. They're going to watch the game for all the wrong reasons. 